As educators, we spend a lot of time helping students learn new things and learning how to learn. Fortunately, new technologies enable us to gather useful data about what and how learners learn, which can also inform our teaching. How can we best make use of data to empower students to understand and improve their learning and achieve better results? We need data on what our students are doing, either in the classroom or online, or a combination of places. What are they learning and how do they behave as learners? It's possible to record this engagement in a number of ways. We could document the number of times a student turns up to class, views course materials, or even time spent watching videos online. While this can be useful, it's of more benefit to record specific learning activities, activities where students are engaging in the actual learning. We can record learning activity either online or in the classroom. Online, this could include posting or commenting in a blog or journal, or results from formative quizzes. In the classroom, you can use responseware tools which can quiz students' knowledge during class as well as measure participation. Give students a measure of how they are performing. Start by writing a regular email and, over time, evolve to visual representations of this information. There are free, easy-to-use tools that you can use to create attractive graphs, charts and other visuals. Students benefit from regular feedback in order to review and improve. More importantly, your feedback needs to be personalised and the student needs to know that it's feedback. Different students will have different goals. Some will want top results while others may just want to pass. Gradually, you can combine ongoing feedback to build students an emerging model of how they are faring against their own goals, as well as alongside other students. As educators, we can also learn from our students' interactions with data to better implement learning strategies. We can ask ourselves questions like, what's going on in the context of the class? Or, are there any make or break weeks during the semester? Use data to test hypotheses about how students are learning and implement strategies as new understandings of how our teaching effectiveness emerges. It's our job to recognise patterns in this data, to feed it back into the course designs and to improve the ongoing learning experience for all.